Okay, hi. Hi, everybody. Okay, this is uh, my journal of uh, what I'm doing in my, uh, what I'm going to be doing in my room. So, I don't know if you guys remember when I first uh, took some pictures a couple of years ago when I moved into this room. I, um, I hated the pink, pink color it had. It was actually that color, pink. And there's still some some little bits of it left up there, and I I made this really nice light blue. I try to recreate the um, light blue of the Argentinian flag, and it came out pretty good. It came out perfect actually, like those old cloth flags. And um, but you know, two years on, I got tired of it, and so I started thinking about another color. And my problem was that I built these, I built these, uh, I put these Filipino mats up against the, around the window to try to um, maximize the, the energy, uh, the organic energy of the, of the window, try to get some of that organic, you know, the energy that the light brings in uh, to try to bring the outside in when there's really nothing green outside except my own plants. Uh, and so, and break the geometry, the hardness of the window. And then I framed it. And then I went up the year, the following year, I went up with that Brown, but you know, pretty soon I started realizing that I was sick of my, the light blue. So, um, but I still really like that Brown that I, it's so warm and elegant that chocolate brown and then I, I had painted that corridor outside that little corridor between the bathroom and the bedroom the same color brown and i'm not it doesn't tire me i like it and so i started thinking what you know wrestling and eventually i, I kind of humbled my my artistic ambitions and decided what i really need to do is try to stop um um stop the the contrast the clash between the colors of these of these materials and the wall and then the floor is really hard because it's like a mustard a mustard color and so i thought of maybe a green you know to try to have also a bright color uh, but i was afraid that i was just going to get tired of it and i don't know whatever i ended up going i ended up deciding that i wanted to do was get a color straight out of the mats so that the mats would look really harmonious with the wall. And I went and bought and I did something. I kind of found a color, but when I, when it dried, I don't know if you can see that when it dried, it looked champagne pink kind of, and it really didn't match at all. So then I went back, I put that, I, I saved that for the bathroom because it might go well with the blue. And I got this sand color. I mixed a little bit of the old. I love make, making my own mixes. I added a little bit of the one above and it came out perfect. It may, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks just like the, 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 the background in this mat right here. And which means it matches all the mats because they're all made with the same varnish and the same kind of color palette. So, Though that whole situation is gonna is resolved now, I ch I had I had a red cur a curtain and I made it brown too, and slowly working my way there, and um, and then all of a sudden I, I got like a a stroke of creativeness, which I I I was really glad to embrace because I I never. I never let go. I'm always kind of rigid. I'm I'm very creative, but I have this rigid side to me. And then I decided, why don't you make the oh? Because I decided that I was I, I was going to make, I was going to take that brown up there, and make a band all along the top of the room, to meet this other wall again, and then continue a band up there, at the height of the of the window. So it would be a brown band, the thickness of the, uh, the thickness that's above the window right now, and then the beige below it. And so I started doing that and I started, 
after I had painted that whole wall, of course, I decided to do that. And I went and started making a straight line across. And then I, that's when the flash hit me. I go, oh, wait, you know, make it, make it fly. Make that band like it's in the wind. And that way you break all the rigid geometry. And so I just drew in a line. And so above the line, it's going to be brown, chocolate brown. And it's going to flutter. The line's going to flutter and it's going to come and dip down into this wall, like the colors coming out of this wall and flying across that wall and then going into that element, the protagonist of the room, which is that window there. The only window in the apartment, well, the, the path, the kitchen has a has a window, but it's an interior space window, so it doesn't get any direct light. It's kind of a weird window. And anyway, so that's it. That's what I'm that's where I'm at and I guess I will make a video when I'm almost done or something. Ciao. In case you want to see Kalele. Kalele is bearing with me. She's right here. <laughs> Say hi, Kalele. Say hi to everybody in Pune. Gorda. Gorda. Say hello. Say hello to Mei Lin. Come on. Kalele. Look at me looking. She's like, what do you want? There she is. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Aloha.